In this problem, we're going to learn how to estimate the heat value from gas produced in an anaerobic digester. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. Well, the problem reads, given the information below, estimate the heat value of the gas produced from an anaerobic digester in units of British thermal units per day. Pure methane has a net heat value of 932 British thermal units per standard cubic foot. Assume the gas produced is measured at standard conditions. And then they gave us a list of information. They gave us the raw sludge pumping schedule, seven minutes every 30 minutes. So that's telling us that for every half hour, they're pumping for seven minutes. The sludge pumping rate is at 75 gallons per minute. Then they gave us our total and volatile solids for the raw sludge, the total solids of 4.2 percent and the volatile percent is 73. The digester sludge or digested sludge percent volatile solids is 58 percent so that's after a reduction in the digester. And then they gave us a, an equivalent for gas production that says for every 11.5 cubic feet well, excuse me, for every pound of volatile solids destroyed in the digester, we get 11.5 cubic feet of gas produced. And that's an important uh, part of this problem. So for every pound per day of volatile solids destroyed, we get 11.5 cubic feet of gas. Now, if you remember from the anaerobic digester lesson, not all of the gas produced is methane. So in a properly operated anaerobic digester, the largest portion is methane, but you have other gases such as carbon dioxide and then some other trace gases. Well, here they told us that of that gas production, 35.5% is due to carbon dioxide, and then these other gases are about 1% by volume. So in the problem, they also told us that we get these 932 British thermal units for every cubic foot of methane produced. So what I want to point out here is the difference between the 100% of gas produced and that which is attributed to carbon dioxide and other gases, the difference will be what percent is methane. So by taking 100% and subtracting out the 35.5% that's carbon dioxide, and the other 1%, which is other gases, we see that the percent of this total volume that is methane is 63.5%. So now we know that for all of the gas produced in this digester, 63.5% of that total volume is due to methane. And that's important because we're trying to calculate the heat value from this methane. Okay, so now there's three things that we're going to have to find to solve this problem, or three major steps to this problem. We have to find the percent solids reduction in the anaerobic digester. Then we're going to calculate how many pounds per day of volatile solids are sent to the anaerobic digester. And then we'll calculate how many pounds per day were destroyed. And once we know how many pounds per day were destroyed, we can use our 11.5 cubic feet of gas production for every pound destroyed to calculate how much methane we have to then finally calculate the overall heat value from this digester. So to start off, we're going to use our percent solids reduction formula, which reads the percent solids reduction is your in value or your, per, your volatile solids percent that's coming into the digester minus the percent volatile solids coming out of the digester divided by n minus the quantity what's coming in times what's going out times 100. And remember when we plug these percentages in we always want to put them in their decimal form. So we're going to use the raw sludge volatile solids which is 73 percent but as a decimal is 0.73 and then we'll use the digester sludge percent volatile solids, which is 58% or 0.58. So 
So plugging the 78% and the 58% into this formula, it looks like this. Okay, so this is how we're going to set up our percent solids reduction. And this will tell us what percent of total volatile solids that are sent to the digester are actually destroyed. So when we do this math, we see that the digester destroys 48.9% of all volatile solids that are sent to the digester. So 48.9% of volatile solids that go to the digester are destroyed. Well, the next thing we need to find is how many pounds per day are going to the digester. Well, we have a formula that we use to calculate pounds of volatile solids to the digester, and that's pounds per day is equal to the gallons per day, or flow in gallons per day, times the percent total solids, times the percent volatile, times 8.34. Well, they told us what the total solids were. They told us the volatile solids. They didn't tell us the flow in gallons per day. So we need to calculate that. Well, like I stated er earlier, we pump for every seven or seven minutes for every half hour, which is the same thing as 14 minutes each hour. Do you see that? Seven minutes every 30 minutes is the same as 14 minutes every hour. We just multiplied that seven by two. Well, if I take that 14 uh, minutes each hour times 24 hours in a day, we can see that we're pumping for 336 minutes each day. Okay, so that's our pumping, our sludge pumping schedule. Well, to find out how much total sludge we're pumping in gallons per day, I would take that 336 minutes per day times the pumping rate of 75 gallons per minute and we see that we're pumping 25,200 gallons per day of sludge to the digester. So that's where we get our flow in gallons per day. It's 25,200 gallons per day. So now I'm going to plug my numbers into this formula and calculate my total pounds per day of volatile solids being sent to the digester. So I plug those numbers in like this, 25,200 times 0.042. Remember, when you put the percentages in these formulas, put them in decimal form. So 4.2% is 0.042 as a decimal. Likewise, 73% is 0.73 times 8.34. So we can see that we're sending 6,444 pounds per day of volatile solids to the digester. So that's how much is being sent to the digester, but only 48.9% is destroyed. So we need to calculate how many pounds per day are destroyed. So to do that, we simply multiply the 6,444 times the 0.489 or the 48.9% and we see that we're destroying 3,151 pounds per day. So we're sending a little over 6,000 and about half of it's being destroyed so we end up destroying 3,151 pounds per day. Well now that we know how many pounds per day are destroyed we can use that 11.5 cubic feet per day per pound of volatile solids destroyed to see just how much gas is being produced. So I'm going to need a little more room uh, to solve this, so I'm going to clear this out and we'll start with the 3151 on a new screen. Okay, so here we have our 3,151 pounds per day of volatile solids destroyed. I'm going to use that 11.5 cubic feet to find out just how much gas is produced. So I do it as a unit conversion like this. They told us that there's 11.5 cubic feet of gas produced for every one pound per day of volatile solids destroyed. So you can see that our pounds per day of volatile solids destroyed goes away, and I'm just left with cubic feet of gas produced. So when I multiply 3151 times the 11.5, I get 36,237 cubic feet of gas produced. So that's how much gas is produced each day. Now, not all of that gas is methane. If you'll remember, 
we calculated the percent of methane and that's 63.5%. So having this total daily production and multiplying it by the 63.5%, we find that there's 23,010 cubic feet of methane produced. So we're almost there. Now we know how much methane is produced each day given the conditions that the problem gave us. Well now we just need to convert this to the heat value. And they told us that every cubic foot of methane has 932 British thermal units of heat value associated with it. So I'm simply going to take my 23,000 cubic feet of methane produced and multiply it by the 932 British thermal units per cubic foot of methane and we see that we have 21 million 445,781 British thermal units per day. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.